What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And right here, what's going to be going on is a dude is going to come out. You know what I'm saying? We in first string all Madden, but dudes think it's sweet, man. Dudes really think they're going to come out here and just try my user, disrespect me, you know what I'm saying, possibly do my wife. But, bro, I don't play those games. Like I said, I'm not going to say you can't do my wife because that's her choice. But what I'm saying is if you do decide to do her dog, just don't eat my food while you're at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, have some kind of sympathy on the G. But, look, the bottom line, what I'm about to get into right here is this. Dudes have to recognize, man, Anthony Barr, if you know how to you oh, Chantel, okay, excuse me, Chantel, like, take it easy, bro, don't be just popping up like that, if you know how to use her, and you got an Anthony Barr team leader, the one that you get from completing the Vikings uh, team leader sets and everything like that, I, bro, I have no idea why dudes will try you, dog, like, this dude right here, you know, like this dude Tat right here. If you know this dude, you gotta let him know. Like, bruh, you don't know G Mind, you don't know G Mind's world. Like, this dude really come out and all he does is pride himself on his user. Like, why would you come out here? You know what I'm saying? That that's like, you know, like coming out like, yo, I'm all right, all right, I'm about to go fight Mike Tyson in this prime. Like, why you why would you do that? You see what I'm saying? Like, what you're making decisions that's gonna, you know, have repercussions that's gonna be kind of bad, bro. Like, you you don't what what the what? Did he just throw that ball right? Yo, that dude was mad scared. He didn't, even want, he didn't want no parts of that. Um, but these are the things that I don't understand. Like, dudes will come out and just outright try my user. And I'm saying to myself, like, you better ask somebody. Like, bro, don't, don't, don't ever do it, though. Don't ever do it. And this dude right here is going to continue to do it throughout the game. And it's going to drive me insane, but it is what it is, man. So let's go ahead and start discussing some of the things that are really going on. Right now, I'm actively grinding to get that OBJ. Um, you can see the Mutt Master is there. We're also doing Mutt Master objectives. Uh, we're setting up uh, a, a stream schedule that's going to consist of both Twitch and YouTube uh, at Gmaya's World. So everything is good right there. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else is really going on. I got some of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys soon. Uh, you've been asking about, you know, other blitzes, other type of tips to help you as far as beating on dudes that's coming out and doing whatever they want to do. Um, obviously the number one bum defense right now is cover four drop show two out of three, four. It's still the same thing. You know, what's crazy that that defense is really funny because I'm gonna tell you something back in the day, right? And all, all the old school Madden dudes can attest to this. That defense was a joke. You know, when, like when Madden was really, really like vicious and in my opinion, a lot more competitive, um, when you used to come out, right. With, with, with defenses like that and have three dudes and then every, have everybody dropping back. Yo, it was not going to end well for you. In the past, all the run. Like, depending on how you played it, you were going to get chewed up regardless. But now, I played a dude that came out and never played another defense. He just played cover four drop, show two. And, yo, listen, he locked up so much. Like, I didn't even know what was going on. It was kind of exciting to me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of turned me on a little bit. Like, I had to really, like, yo, go out and get me some vodka. Like, yo, that, that, that right there, we were talking at the bar. Like, yo, that dude that ran cover four drop on me, that dude kind of the man. I want to go meet that dude. Like, he, yo, bro, the dude is a superhero. Like, when you come out with no self-respect and you run cover four drop like a maniacal maniac that's from Gotham City, I got to give you a lot of credit. I can't get mad at you because it works. You see, that's another thing that a lot of dudes that, um, why did I got just dive, like, nowhere near, what, bro, dudes need to really get their hurdle game up. He just dove, uh, dove nowhere near me. A lot of dudes that play Madden, right? And, um, you know, like, it's it's a situation where they're like, okay, uh, I don't like the fact that you do this, so I'm going to complain about it, right? With me, as long as you don't DC glitch me, you could do whatever you want, whatever you need. Well, I don't know how the rest of that Meat Mill song go. You can have whatever you... Bro, don't worry about that. You could do whatever you want. My issue is this. A lot of dudes complain about things that are within the game. And then they'll scream and go wild and, like, get mad at the other player. Why can, Why would I get mad at another dude for coming out, running cover for a drop like he doesn't care about life itself? If that's what works for the guy, what... This, you see what I'm saying? And, and, and this, this is the reason why I don't deal with a lot of dudes because it's, it's really interesting to me that that will get you that... It gets you that upset that dudes are running stuff like that. Like me, like, during the game, I, I turn into... Look, bro, I turn into a wild, savage beast. But at the end of the game, it's over. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but that's just what Madden in it incites anger. That's one of the key things that it does. Because regardless, like over the last 16, 17, it created a world where bums, well, 15 also. 15 was like kind of the tear where it was like, all right, bums are welcome. You ever watch that SpongeBob where it was like, no weenies allowed? The EA Sports put up a sign that said, look, all bums are welcome. And bums became a lot more 
you know, powerful in, in regards to the, oh, he gonna just throw it. And then my guy gonna jump in the air because he was hot. Yo, oh, he was, I think he was waving to somebody. He was happy to see somebody. Bums became a little bit more empowered. So what happened was dudes like, uh, you know, D Jones and stuff like that. D Jones in Madden 16 used to come out and man up everybody, including his head coach. Um, you know, he had some cheerleaders on the side. He manned up on your offense. It was so dumb. And he would rush like no players and get sacks. Very, very stupid. But why would I get mad at, at D. Jones? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I realize this. I have to make sure that EA Sports is aware that this is unacceptable. And that's what I chose to do. I chose to reach out, let him know what was going on, stuff like that. And, you know, I raged like a maniac in Madden 17 and stuff like that. And they added things in, like the straight back to where it was supposed to be. And it made it more user-friendly uh, and stuff like that. And that's what I was supposed to, you know, I was supposed to do. And that's what I did. The issue is a lot of people get mad at the players that are doing these things and then it turns into a, it, it just takes away from everything that could be done because you shouldn't be directing your anger towards somebody that's utilizing whatever works to make the game better for themselves. They don't care about how you feel. D. Jones was in his crib like, yo, I'm finna come out and man up everybody. Bruh, air. He didn't say every. He said air. Like he was on some real gangster stuff. This dude came out Look, I got the video here on YouTube. Search G Miles World versus D Jones. The dude beat the hell out of me because I refused to stop passing the ball. Because when I tried to run, even though he was manning everybody up, it still stopped the run. Very, very frustrating game. But I'm not going to send hate texts and hate tweets and start going on Facebook and, oh, bro, I hate this guy. Bro, why? Why would I do that? That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what it's always been. And that's why... You know, the only thing that I message guys back is good game. They can say whatever they want to say, whatever. Win or lose. Win or lose is good game. I don't care about anything else. Because it doesn't make any sense to, you know, argue over the internet. What is that proving? And that's what we need to really stop doing um, as far as that goes. But during Madden games, it's acceptable to be angry and just go wild and savage because that's what it does to you. And that's the way it's always been. Um, it's gotten a little bit worse at, as of Madden 16, 17. 18 is decent at this point right now. They have a patch coming the first week of October. We'll see what happens with that. But it's supposed to incite you to be into a bloody rage. But after the game is over, it's just over. You know what I'm saying? That, that's it. It, it, it. Everything else after that, why are you... St oh, my... Yo, bro, I am just so sticky, bro. Uh, yo, listen, get, yo, drop a like if I'm sticky. If I'm not, drop a like anyway. So now both, both times you got to drop the like. You, you see what I did with that? But don't worry about that. I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand. This dude right here, a total undeniable bum. But he's a decent dude, bro. Like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. But after the game is over, I don't care how I feel about this guy being a bum. GG's. If he beats the hell out of me, GG's. What, what, listen, what do you benefit by, by sending hate mail and hate speech? I, I, don't, I don't see what the benefit is. And this dude right here, the only thing that he did to me, in my opinion, that was disrespectful... He tried my user. That's the one thing you should never do to me, bro. Like I told you, come through, do my wife, do whatever you got to do. Don't try my user. Because once you start trying my user, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's going to be some things. It's going to be some things you're going to have to deal with. Once you try my, like, bro, yeah, oh, bro, come stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it now. I'm going to need you guys and girls to subscribe, share, like the video, check out my podcast channel, link in the description. See you guys and girls next time. It's always one love. Rest in peace, Hugh Hefner.